This is The Great Debate. Today's topic, if the Matildas win the World Cup, should we get a public holiday? Yes! As simple as that. Are we ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Your 30 seconds starts now. I don't care if it was a fly-eating competition and then we got a public holiday for that. If I get a day off work for any reason whatsoever, whether it's about the Matildas or not, then I am for it. <laughs> but I must admit, after watching them the other night, I'm totally on the train. I think what they've done for our country is absolutely phenomenal. And at the end of the day, if we get another public holiday to celebrate that, then we all win in my eyes. I don't know why anybody would be against it, to be honest. I think it's great. That's it. That's all I think. Why not? All public right. holidays, everyone loves that. Why not? A fly-eating competition she'd give a public holiday. Well, there's a lot of heart in this one. Come on. All Mate, right. I don't care. If I get a day off work... I'm done. You're up for it. Mick's saying no, and your 30 seconds starts now. I tell you what, it's a, it's a very good, great thing for a politician to say, let's have a public holiday. It costs the, uh, the Australian economy, according to AMP economists, around $9 billion. Every nurse, every uh, paramedic has to be paid double time on that public holiday. The cost to the government alone is ridiculous. I mean, come on, Australia, we don't need a public holiday every time a sports team wins a competition. Please, you know, let's just enjoy it at work with all our workmates and as for you, you walk out the door at 10 o'clock in the morning anyway, it's not like it's a full day's work We debate Thank all you. The, we, <laughs> we debate all the time trying to justify us walking out the door and now he's just made it sound like it's back